While narcissists believe that they are the only ones deserving of success, there are some of the sets of people who believe that they don't deserve success. In fact, anything good happens to this set of people, they are scared and worried that success won't last. Why is this so? In this video, I will share with you 5 reasons why some people think that they don't deserve success. 1. They have low self-esteem. According to Rick Pitino, an American basketball coach, self-esteem is directly linked to deserving success. You must deserve victory to feel good about yourself. A person with healthy self-esteem has self-confidence and believes in their abilities to create values in their environment and for as many people as possible. Hence, they think that if they can do that, then they deserve to be successful. However, a person who has low self-esteem or who has developed a negative mindset towards life doesn't believe that they deserve to be successful because they don't believe in their abilities, neither do they think that they are capable of creating anything that will be useful to mankind. When a person develops low self-esteem or a negative belief about themselves that states that they are not worthy enough, they might start to believe that they do not deserve success. This limiting thought and esteem may further deter them from working hard, thus making the failure you think you deserve a reality. Self-esteem creates a sense of entitlement in healthy people. The average person should feel that they deserve to succeed, but when the person's self-esteem becomes too low, the person might think that they do not deserve to be successful or happy. 2. They've acquired false beliefs from childhood. Children who grew up in environments where they were continually shut down, neglected, and ignored will most likely grow up into childhoods who believe that they don't deserve anything good, such as success, because to them, they are not special or useful to anyone else. The truth is that if they continue to think of themselves this way, they'll never consider themselves as useful or special. A practical example is a kid growing up in an environment where they were told that they are too fat to fit in or they are too dark-skinned or white-skinned to make it. In most cases, it takes a lot of courage and guts to disregard what people say or think and accept what you want for yourself. Parents and guardians also play an important role in determining how a person perceives him or herself. If the parents of the child kept putting the child down, then the child might start to develop an idea that they are not worthy. The critical comments some children receive during childhood can make them think that they are indeed not worthy of success. For instance, if you constantly point out the flaws in a child and keep reminding them of their errors without commanding their strengths, they will eventually become adults who think that their very existence is a mistake. Once a child feels that something is wrong with them, they can grow up into adults who don't believe that they deserve to get anything good in life. 3. They are just afraid. Have you heard of the old proverbs, what you fear comes to you? Bertrand Russell once asserted, fear is the main source of superstition and one of the main sources of cruelty. To conquer fear is the beginning of wisdom. Every one of us has had one fear or the other, especially the fear of the unknown future. However, some people intensify their worries and allow them to take over their reasoning. So, instead of taking control and facing their fears, they decide that it is better to be on the safe side than lose it all, which is why they will instead choose to believe that they don't deserve to succeed. They just assume that they are undeserving so that if failure comes, they won't be hurt or surprised. When you allow fear into your hand, the old proverbs about fear becomes your story. This assumption is backed up with the law of attraction, whether good or bad. Whatever your predominant thought becomes your reality. So, if your mind is full of thoughts of fear, there's a great chance that you will not get the success. If a person is too afraid to fail, or in some of the case, if they are scared to test their abilities, they'll opt for a safer option instead. But then again, the feeling that a person doesn't deserve success is often nothing more than a self-deception attempt, which makes you a bigger failure. 4. They've been treated poorly in the past. Have you ever watched movies or seen a situation where a person was always treated as an outsider and never got any of the good stuff that everyone else got? What eventually happens to such a character in the end? Well, it's either one of two things. They either encourage themselves to believe in themselves and work hard enough to prove to those people who treated them illy that they can also become wealthy, successful, and have all the good things that they want in life. Or they can spend the rest of their lives believing that nothing good can happen to them. In fact, they feel like they are cursed, etc. Sadly, most of the world's population falls in the second category. Individuals who tend to believe that they don't deserve to be successful because others have treated them badly. Heed the advice of Paul Curlo, a Brazilian lyricist and novelist, don't let anyone make you feel you don't deserve the good things that happen in your life. 5. They feel guilty over something that they have done in the past. 
Guilt is a powerful emotion that a person feels when they violate their values or when they believe they have done something wrong. Guilt is quite normal, but when guilt, however, becomes intense, it becomes toxic and causes a lot of problems. One of the deadliest issues that guilt can cause is thinking that nothing good should ever happen to you because you have done something terrible and you would live the rest of your life paying for your sins. People who think this way or people who allow the feeling of guilt and regret hold them this much don't believe that they deserve to be successful. But let me ask you, is there anyone in this world who does not do wrong? Is perfection a criterion for success? Irrespective of the wrong you have done, never give up on your ability to be a better person and to be successful. In the words of Paul Coelho, you deserve all the good things that happen to you. Don't feel guilty and accept the blessings. If you have ever felt undeserving of success before, listen to the words of Gautama Buddha, a monk, medicant, teacher and religious leader who once said, you can search throughout the entire universe for someone more deserving of your love and affection than you are yourself. And that person is not to be found anywhere. You, as much as anybody in the entire universe, deserve your love and affection.